just off Golden State Boulevard in Turlock. Latif's restaurant is grilling up a customer favorite. Might be a little hot right now, but you guys are gonna be able to taste it. It's a dish that Jim Stevens has served since he bought the place in 1971. Swedish potato sausage. Okay. It's a potato scorb. Jim's cooking is popular among everyone, even celebrities, from the Beach Boys to Chuck Norris. And I would tell him the most important one is, is right here. But his crowning achievement was feeding the commander-in-chief. There was a gentleman come in all dressed and he said, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have some company in about a half an hour. October 15, 1988, the then Vice President H.W. Bush walked into Latif's hot off the campaign trail and sat down right here. Well, I've got a banquet room upstairs. They said, no, we want him right here at this horseshoe counter. For the next 45 minutes, George and Barbara Bush ate lunch and mingled with customers. Everybody kind of got word of it and the place was packed. And if they were inside, they could stay. But if they left, they couldn't come back. Those who weren't inside watched the future president eat his lunch from outside the restaurant window. What he had is what's on this right here. This is it. So yeah. had, do you have uh, a bowl of chili? A bowl of chili. He had a chocolate shake and an apple pie. And when it was all over and Bush won the presidency, customers from all over came to sit in his chair. And he wrote me back thanking me for the kind words and everything. And I got a little autograph, well actually, a little bit smaller than this autographed picture from him, which I later framed and still hangs in my bedroom today. Ever since Highway 99 bypassed Turlock, Latifs doesn't get the presidential attention like it once did. Yeah, it was, it was a time that was, I mean, burnt in your memory. I mean, you know, I can remember it just like it was yesterday.